I'm trying to be like Johnny Appleseed. I want this shit everywhere. And I want to ensure that whoever's smoking cannabis 30 years from now is getting the best of the best. Cookies is a household name in the industry and I feel like we've done a great job gaining people's trust and telling our story and branding ourselves as one of the guys that's gonna be here no matter what. I think that we've planted our flag and that no matter what happens with me or you know certain people in the company that we have a certain standard that's gonna be followed by whoever's running this thing 100 years from now. I contribute the growth to consistency and also like our business model. Our business model is super strategic. We found class operators all around the world and partnered with them and by doing that, we've been able to grow a lot faster than other businesses. Surprising things about running my own business, um, taxes. You know, I learned very, very young about taxes, which I'm glad I did because a lot of people in my position, especially rappers and shit, they're not really focused on taxes. That was a, that was a surprise. For the clothing, just the way that clothing works was a huge surprise. You have to understand, I didn't go to school for clothing. I didn't, I knew nothing about clothing. I just wanted to do it. And it was a big surprise on the way that the clothing industry works as far as like what to print up, what sells, what doesn't sell. I learned the hard way for that, but fortunately we were able to turn that around and just blow Cookies clothing up. Biggest challenges, I mean, banking for sure. I mean, banking is just super awkward and then they start kind of profiling you as a person with like other accounts that have nothing to do with cannabis. At first, Dialing in cultivation in certain markets was a challenge, but we found a really good SOP for that. Now we're not really running into that wall, but you have to imagine you're growing this weed in here in California, and then you expect someone else to grow it just as good somewhere else with different environment conditions and different styles of growing. And so the biggest challenge is like, when it went legal, when it went recreational in a lot of these markets, you've seen um, a thirst come out that was never there before. I've been doing this for 20 years. I remember when this shit was pure. Like it was just all, everyone was fighting for the same thing. We all want this to be available, safe for people. And we knew what we were fighting for. And when it became legal in certain markets, people that weren't really from that industry or that world jumped in and it got super cut. Everyone started fighting to become like the one or the number one or the biggest. And everyone trying to grow and, and base their business off revenue and ways to make, that, that to me turned me off. I'm like, okay, this is about the bud. It's all about the bud, it's all about the weed, and so that's not really a challenge, but it kind of kills the flow a little bit, the energy a little bit. Legalization, for me, I think that people like Chuck Schumer and the guys leading this, you know, this initiative should try to get in the room with people like myself for a non-biased reason. I just understand what it's going to take for people to be happy, from the cultivator to the operator to the distributions to the brands. I would love to be able to help game up some people in position on what's going wrong right now with some of the laws and what would go right and how both can benefit. Like we know what the government wants. We know what the people need. My future like right now for me is, okay, what do you want to do? What do you love to do? For everyone that's watching this, that's motivated, shit, so am I. Let's go, let's turn it up.